And this time, you know, it's safer. You know, we get to chat like grown-ups sometimes. Robbie, first question for you. Um, what, do you what was for you the best uh, Take That track that you're not involved in? So let's say from the previous two albums, and why? Um, there's a load that I like. There's on, on the Circus album, there's one that Jay sings called... Uh, Wise Love. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How Did It Come To This, uh, which is brilliant. Uh, you know, all of them are fantastic. Uh, Greatest Day is amazing. I think if I was going to do one myself mm -hmm. uh, at my own show, it'd be Shine. Why? Uh, you. Well, first off, it's about me. So most of my songs are about me. So it fits in. And, it, you know, it's, it's rocking. It's rock and roll. Okay, sounds good. Um, if there was one track of uh, his solo career that you would all say, well, that's, that's the best one, what, what track yeah. would it be? Uh, it was one called Cream Cake. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I think maybe Lazy Days. Lazy Days is one of my favourites. Although I don't think it was... A hit. Well, it wasn't as big as the other tracks, so I had to put it nicely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but why? Why? Yeah. I just like... I like that it's not really, really big. If you get what I mean. I, lo I just love the tune of it. And I love the way it's sung. I love the melody. And I love the backing vocals in the background that run through the verses. Um, Cheers, out. That's it, really. I mean, there's, there's a lot of great tracks, obviously. But um, maybe also um, Let Me Entertain You. Let Me Entertain You. Okay. Um, do, do you like his comment about the song or not? Lazy Days? That, yeah, I don't like Lazy Days. days. Don't you? <laughs> no? No, yeah. I, do, I do. You don't like a lot of your tracks, though, do you? Yeah, no, I like Lazy <laughs> Days. It's, uh, it, it's lovely, you know. But I, I was just a bit lazy, uh, excuse the pun, with the lyric. I wish I'd have taken a bit more time with the lyric. But you like it, and that's brilliant. Okay. Makes, I think as I, I like simple lyrics. <laughs> right, well, it is really simple. <laughs> that's good. Um, well, you are uh, almost six years apart. Um, the first time around, um, you were 16. When it started, you were tw tw 22. Did you actually, well, talk to each other about certain things? Because at that age, well, the age difference is pretty big. Mm. Well, um... <laughs> When I was that old, I obviously I had a mind of a 16-year-old anyway, so... <laughs> so, yeah, I got on with Rob, obviously, but I think nowadays, you know, we know each other a lot better and um, we share our thoughts and, you know, our fears. Whereas back then, it wasn't, wasn't really like that. We didn't really have um, a relationship where we would talk to each other about problems, whether it be at home or with your girlfriend. We crept along a few corridors in Japan, though, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. We had fun in that sense. We had a lot of fun, believe me, but we didn't have that... Corridor um, creeping. Yeah. We I didn't think have that relationship where we had those kind of conversations. Back in the day, it wasn't set up to be that kind of band. You know, everybody... Because of external forces, we were sort of... Um, it was a divide-and-conquer sort of situation. So we were never... We were always looking after number one, each other, instead of all of us. Yeah. And this time, you know, it's safer and we get to chat like grown-ups sometimes. What was the last time you chatted like grown-ups? On the plane. On the plane. You know, we talk, we talk about, you know, girlfriends, family, family just normal stuff. parents, um, proper therapy stuff. Therapy stuff? Yeah. Sounds good. Um, well, um, what was the, f the first time actually that you were saying, well, maybe I can think about rejoining Take That. Do you, do you still recall the first one thing that happened or maybe one thought? Uh, the boys came over to, my, to, to Los Angeles, they were mixing the Circus album and... Um, a big case of money came through your door. Yeah, <laughs> they pushed a big case of money first and then they how, walked. How much? Uh, quick, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. I have somebody count that for me. You don't get a bed for, a bed for less than $100,000, do you? Not, not at all. Not these days. Uh, anyway, so the boys came over and we all had a big chat and me and Gary sorted a load of stuff out that needed to be sorted out. And once I'd got the response I needed, and once he got the response he needed, that instantly was the key for, for me coming back. What did you need from him? Um, to acknowledge, you know, um, the memories of things that upset me. 
Can you share one? Not really. You know, I could, but I'm writing a book again. So I'll have to wait. And what did he need from you? He needed the same. I, I just, you know, I think, I think Gaz was just kind of, um, he just wanted to know why I was so pissed off. <laughs>